We welcome you back into the volume.com studio. Jay and Mel, well, we've been here since 6 o'clock. We have. But as promised, we are now joined by our headliner for Nashville Sunday night, our first live Nashville Sunday night of 2023. Very excited to welcome J.D. Clayton into the studio. How you doing, man? Doing welcome good, in. Man. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Absolutely. Uh, I appreciate you making time because I was actually looking at your tour schedule, and it's like, <laughs> all right, we know he's got the you know the gig at 3rd and Lindsley for Nashville Sunday night on Sunday. Here it is Thursday morning, but you've actually got two shows in Texas tomorrow and Saturday, right? Yeah, is that yeah. is that how that works? Um, yeah, we're we're trying to make some moves here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's working out well for you, JD. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, the uh, long way from home will be out on uh, the twenty seventh. So. Uh, Kind of a record release party for you here in Nashville as yeah. part of the live broadcast. Yeah. Uh, so um, tell us a little bit about, uh, you're from Arkansas originally, right? right? But yeah. you, you live here now? Yeah, so I'm originally from Fort Smith, which is on the most western side of Arkansas on the Oklahoma border. And born and raised there, and then my wife and I moved to Nashville about three years ago. Okay. And, uh, she worked as a nurse, and I was trying to do the music thing. So between those two industries, we thought we kind of had it figured out. This is the place to be, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so went through this, uh, this thing called COVID, and uh, music wasn't really working out that great. But wrote a record during that time, and... You know, now now working to put it out. So stuck stuck with it, and yeah, you stuck it out, and yeah. it's uh, it's about to be out there in the wild in uh, just over a week from now. But uh, very excited to have uh, JD as our headliner again for our first live Nashville Sunday night of 2023. And again, just a friendly reminder: we've moved the show up one hour in 2023, so the doors will open at 5:30, and then uh, our opener. We'll actually take the stage at 7. That's Harper O'Neill. And then J.D. will be taking the stage at 8 p.m. 3rdandlinsley.com to get your tickets. And, of course, you can tune in because we'll broadcast the show live like we've been doing since 1996. So uh, looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of a taste of what we can expect on yeah. uh, Sunday night. So uh, you mentioned you're probably going to play an original and a cover. Yeah. Which yeah. one Which one do you want to play first? The I'll, original play, I'll play the original first. This is a song called Gold Mine. Uh, it's, I guess it's the fourth track on the record. And, okay. Uh, yeah, just a little love story. So Let's do it. We've got right. J.D. Clayton live here in the Volume.com studio, streaming at Volume.com and live on Lightning 100. I never was good at talking to women. I probably was a little too shy. Yes, I kind of figured it would happen on its own My years that rode on by Till I couldn't wait another day For her to come along So I went searching High in the hills For the treasure that I could hold But every time I thought I was closer I'd get so lost somewhere in my mind No, honey, I guess that I look for you in all the wrong places But you rescued me and pointed me in your direction. And when you opened my eyes, I saw you, the gold mine. And I don't know why things happen like they do But I remember having nothing before I had you It's a hard place to be And a sure way to die When life's been pretty sweet Since I found the gold mine Yeah, I went searching Behind the hill For the treasure that I could hold tonight But every time I thought I was closer 
I'd get so lost somewhere in my mind Oh, honey, I guess that I look for you in all the wrong places Well, call me a blind man, cause your love couldn't see But you rescued me Wanted me in your direction And when you Opened my eyes I saw you The gold mine There's J.D. Clayton live here in the Volume.com studio. Goldmine, the name of that one. You can listen to it on that new record coming out next Friday. You can also hear it live at Nashville Sunday night this Sunday. All you have to do is go to 3rd and Lindsley. It's not even that hard. It's really that simple. Uh, And I guess we're just kind of assuming that you'll play that on Sunday night as well. <laughs> That's true. That was I, a very I, bold assumption. I, I, yeah. Guys, I, I have to. That's uh, I've been told I have to. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Well, it's all right. It's now been mandated. So, uh, But yeah, J.D. Clayton here uh, in the Volume.com studio. And again, uh, headlining Nashville Sunday night out at 3rd and Lindsley. So you mentioned uh, you've been here for a few years. Yeah. Uh, grew up in Arkansas. Uh, who were some of your influence? I mean, have you been playing since a really young age? Or is this something that you picked up a little bit later on? Or uh, what, what kind of inspired you to, to start playing? playing and writing songs and and what kind of artists are are responsible for that i guess yeah, i should say <laughs> so I, I may be throwing you for a loop here but um my grandfather was a banjo player in a bluegrass band and so from an early age i was i was around music but i sure. didn't really take it seriously until you know probably junior high okay and uh but my dad was given a couple CDs from a friend of his that took a trip out to California when it probably this is like 2001. And those okay. two CDs were uh, Brush Fire Fairy Tales by Jack Johnson and Room for Squares by John Mayer. Okay. And so uh, those early on, I just had this idea about, you know, the singer songwriter that writes a record and goes on tour and writes a record and goes on tour. And like, I always wanted to do that. And, um, it wasn't until my senior year of high school that I got conned into playing my graduation, and we went to a big high school, so it was <laughs> my first time really being in front of that many people. And um, yeah, it's something about you know playing, and, and I just was hooked. So yeah, started busking at the local farmers market, and started writing some songs of my own, and started a little band in college and yeah it's just slowly progressed people started coming to some of our shows we started playing at the local starbucks at uh, on campus oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> nice, yeah nice. So, uh, I'm, I'm curious though can you tell us a little bit more about the con what was what was it that got you to decide to do do that in front of the the school that size i don't know it um this girl was in choir and she was a great singer and um yeah, she just kind of begged me to to play this with her. We sang uh, <laughs> "Rivers and Roads" by uh, The Head and the Heart. I, th- okay. I think I think it was, that was everyone's graduation song in twenty twenty fourteen. But so you were ahead of the curve on that. Yeah, that's one, right. right. Yeah, we 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 knew the trends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Setting the trends, as it were. Yes, uh, J D. Clayton joining us here in studio again. He's headlining Nashville Sunday night. He'll be taking the stage out at Third and Lindsley coming up this Sunday at eight p. Those tickets available at thirdandlinsley.com. And, of course, as we mentioned, uh, J.D.'s uh, debut album, Long Way From Home, will be out a week from tomorrow, January the 27th. Uh, so before we went live on air, it was like, well, what do you want to play? And you played Goldmine for us, which sounded amazing. Thanks, man. And uh, you're going to go with a, a cover tune here? Yeah. I, okay. I wasn't sure. I, I think maybe we mix it up a little bit. And, sure. Uh, this is one all of the right. covers that we do at all of our shows, and it's just uh, another favorite artist of mine, uh, Tracy Chapman. So see if you can spot this one. All right. We got J.D. Clayton live here in the Volume.com studio and live on Lightning 100.
Once again, J.D. Clayton live here in the volume.com studio. And there is more where that came from out at 3rd and Lindsley this Sunday night or if you're in Texas over the next two days. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and can I just say, yeah, that was awesome, man. <laughs> uh, great, uh, great take on that uh, Tracy Chapman classic. Uh, J.D. Clayton here in the volume.com studio. And uh, yeah, you know what? Do you have the, the tour dates or maybe you know which cities you're playing in, in Texas yeah, the next so, couple days? Uh, just outside of Dallas will be Friday night at, and uh, Terrell, Texas. And then we're going down to College Station for Saturday night. Oh, uh, um, near uh, A and M, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Both my uh, my father in law and mother in law graduated from A and M, so uh, we're yeah. You know, I'm doing this as a favor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> got conned into doing another yeah, one, right? Yeah, that's right. These are some brownie points I'm earning right now. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep them happy, man. Well, uh, it's been a blast having you here and getting to meet you, JD. Thank you so much for taking the time, man. Yeah, thank you. Like thank I said, you so much, guys. No, I really appreciate. No, it. No, you're busy, man. You gotta. We're probably going to catch a flight here after uh, after the uh, in studio, but. But uh, looking forward, again, uh, J.D. Clayton going to be headlining our Nashville Sunday night, our first live show of 2023. J.D. is going to headline. He'll take the stage at 8 o'clock. Harper O'Neill will open the show at 7. The doors Don't open at 5.30. That's right. We've moved it up an hour here in 2023. Those tickets available while they last over at thirdandlinsley.com. Thank you again, J.D. We'll see you on uh, Sunday night out of 3rd and Lindsley. Yeah, we will. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely, man. It's been a blast. And uh, safe travels to Texas and back, all Thanks right? So much, and we'll man. see you Sunday night. Uh, we've got to take a quick time out right now. Be back with music from Omar Apollo here on Lightning in the Morning.